baby jumping. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see by the title, guys, I actually was doing some research because I was trying to figure out what it is that I need to react to. Because I have been telling y'all in the comments, go ahead on and send your girl some videos y'all would love to see me react to. Anywho, so I ended up running across this TikTok accumulation, which means some people actually having a meltdown over Trump election 2024. If you guys like more videos like this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Go ahead on, guys, to the link down in the description down below and subscribe to my other channel. Make sure you guys share this video and make sure you post notification on, guys. So let's go ahead on and get into this banger. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You guys got your cheap ass groceries and your cheap ass fucking gas because you're fucking broke as shit. You're fucking broke. You're fucking broke. Broke. I said I'm fucking taking serious. You're fucking broke. I did. I said I was leaving. And then the following day, get the through your dumb heads. The following day, I turned around and I said that there's no chance in the world that I'm leaving my country. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, so he must be bluffing, talking about if Trump become the president, that he was going to lead the country. Somebody done bust your bubble. He said he's, he's not going to leave. He's not going anywhere. He changed his mind. All right? I'm not leaving anywhere. You leave. This is my country. And I have every right, every single right, within which to turn around when we stop so we can... All right, two seconds, I'm going to end up blocking this idiot. Now that the orange turd has won, we should now rename America hell because it is going to be hell on earth. One space trip, everyone's rights away, that is no straight white cis man. So buckle up. I hope you freaking Republicans are happy. I'm out of here. <laughs> he leaving too, I guess. I feel absolutely so betrayed by my country right now. <laughs> It's so frustrating. I don't even know what to say right now. We tried, okay, to everyone from other countries that are saying America failed. We tried. The system is inherently flawed, and we tried. And to anybody who follows me on TikTok, if you are happy about the results of the election, unfollow me right now. Get off my page. Do not talk to me. I don't care if I've known you. So I woke up this morning to what is known as 4B, and it's basically all of these liberal women going on strike saying they're done sleeping around with men and acting a fool. Um, conservative women have been telling you this for years. We have been telling you to stop sleeping around and being a party animal because it results in consequences. Your actions have consequences. Mm. Trad wives have been telling you guys for years for our entire lives, for you to stop sleeping around because you're gonna end up pregnant. I just, <laughs> she don't and you're not even giving the conservative women credit. We've been telling you to do this. We've been telling you that if you stop acting like an absolute fool, you won't get pregnant. So you know what, let's all do 4B. We don't have to go absolutely insane and shave our heads. And what is 4B? Oh and run around like a masculine mess of a woman, but let's stay celibate and stop acting absolutely insane and life will go better for us. Thank you. She don't want no one to talk to you. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hey guys, I need a paddy wagon. Paddy wagon. Yes, a paddy wagon. Karen here is losing her shit. No, these liberal women are losing their shit. I mean, they're also doing us a favor. You know, we don't have to deal with them anymore for at least the next four years. But fuck, they're losing it. Hurry. Karen, yes, paddy wagon, padded room, needs to go, needs help. Please, hurry, send somebody now. 
There is an extreme and bizarre sense of entitlement and narcissism coming from American women who, contrary to popular belief, will not be losing a single right. Meanwhile, they were silent when Israeli women were gang raped in front of their loved ones on October 7th by Hamas, many of whom are still hostage to this day. They were silent when Iranian women started being murdered in the streets if they chose not to cover their hair or abide by the dress code that men had set for them. There are Afghani women who have essentially been completely erased from society and aren't even allowed to speak, not even to other women, and you were silent about that you see there are women who truly have no rights in this world but you want to sit here cosplaying oppression because you want to feel special to feel when we control your bodies hey bitch we control your bodies oh hi white woman who voted for trump here yeah i have five kids i'm not on birth control five kids with the same man you can take responsibility of your own body and who you lay down with but we won't talk about that commence the excuses oh and don't you have that head to shave Election night fucking sucks. I'm on edge. I'm sure everybody else is on edge. Doom scrolling, watching all the news. We knew that, like, we aren't going to find out tonight. Probably not tomorrow if we do. God save us, right? Um... So, in order to distract myself, I decided to take an everything shower. Because, you know, everything showers take forever. But it was all steamy in there. And I got a little carried away. And I did something that I might not be able to undo. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is there one? Did I take it too far? I'm just kidding. Like, I've been shaving my head for almost two years now. Where have you been? But in all seriousness, my anxiety is through the roof. There's no way I'm going to shave my head. I'm not doing it. And me personally, I wear weave. My hair underneath this is braided. I will not ever shave my head. Not for something like this. Ever. <laughs> The boat says son of son. I'm sure it's gonna grow back back pretty fast. I'm sure, but still, it's just like over this though. I I just can't do that.
Well, as you guys can see, people have gone crazy. They have gone mad. Um, I, I could just couldn't shave my hair for no reason. I don't know what y'all think about this video. What do y'all think about this video? Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Make sure your post notification on, guys. So when I get ready to post one of your requested videos, you will get the notification. Go ahead on, guys, and subscribe to my other channel. The link will be in the description down below. Support your girl of the channel because it's only up from here. I'm happy to get my channel back. If you made it to the end of this video, go ahead on give me a blue heart in the comments, guys. Y'all stay safe and blessed and let God do the rest. And I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Don't go nowhere. Turn your personal notification on, guys, because meet me on the next video. Peace. Love you. Bye.